Another episode of Catch It, Cook It, and Eat It. And, Catch uh, It, Cook It, and <laughs> Eat It. That's what we're doing tonight. Okay. Reed Stowe has just come back from over a thousand days. A thousand one hundred and fifty-two days sailing this boat on the sea without stopping or receiving supplies. It's unbelievable. So you never saw land in all that time? I saw land once <laughs> because I had to drop my sweetheart off. Right. She got very sick in the Indian Ocean. We were in a lot okay. of storms down in the Southern Ocean. It was not far from Antarctica. Okay. And she got so sick she couldn't eat. We were really worried. But I knew we were coming t towards Australia. So the one man in Australia who I knew who would come and save us <laughs> so that I could keep going was John Sanders. Okay. He held the previous two longest sea voyages in history. And I told him, we're approaching Australia. My girlfriend's sick. She can't make it any further. Will you come out and save her so I can keep going? Were you scared when she left? Because I, I was afraid more when she was on the boat okay. for her. When she got home to Queens where she lived, the doctors told us she was pregnant and she had our son. Unbelievable. And waited uh, two years for me to come back. So you arrived after over a thousand days on the ocean, having never not seen anyone. Right. And not a human soul. No. And then she surprised well, you knew you had a kid, but there's a kid that you've never seen before in your yeah. whole life. Is there a certain moment that sticks out where you just said, this might be the end here? Or did that not no. happen? That never but happened. I was turned upside down. And I even was, then you thought I'll be okay? It happened too fast. Uh, I mean, I banged against the wall and the okay. ceiling and the boat came back up again very fast. So I was uh, a bit, uh, uh, you know, bumped up and yeah. stunned. Was that at night But nighttime? I immediately knew what to do. No, it was the afternoon. Wow. It's just a rogue wave that caught me near Cape Horn. And it, I knew that it turned the boat 180 degrees because I was cooking and the rice and lentils were stuck to the ceiling right above the stove. Oh my. And my sprouts yeah. that were growing in yeah. a tray that was tied secure, the top blew off, and they were hanging from some wires on the ceiling directly above the sprouts. The boat must have turned 180 degrees. Everything on this boat that we're looking at, you built? Everything on this boat I built and friends yep. helped me build. Unbelievable. I built my first boat, ocean-going boat when I was 20. Wow. I built surfboards in high school. You know, I have a surfing background as well, so oh, I really? mean, I'm like, Great. this is, I've found my guy here. <laughs> well, surfing led me to sailing. I set out to live at sea mm -hmm. longer than any human in history. Which you've done. coming to shore. I sailed around the world. Which you're sure you've done. Almost by double. Tell me about the food, because I have to get on my on the topic of, the topic my... <laughs> of food. These big mahi-mahi would be swimming right next to the boat checking me out. So I took my lure yeah. and threw it in the water yeah. 20 feet out and pulled it back as fast as I could and caught one. With, by hand? By hand. Okay. But I was wearing rubber gloves, right. the, the cotton gloves with the rubber soles. Okay. And I had thick monofilament line. Right. Then I fillet it, dice it, put salt on it, mm -hmm. and it dries in three or four days. Right. And then it lasts indefinitely. And I'm feeding so, you that food tonight. Okay. I don't know how old it is. Yeah. It could be a year old, it could be a month old. What about uh, vegetables? Sprouts yeah. were the key to my diet. No vitamins? N no vitamins. Humanity was like a yeah. tree or a plant. Yeah. I'm like that green vine. Yeah. It grows out in front. Just into that the little wild. bit further than everybody else. And very fragile and yeah. very dangerous. Can break real easy. Okay. But full of juice mm. and energy flowing. I'm just looking at you and I'm thinking, I just don't have what this guy has. I wasn't built with the same anatomy. I wasn't built with the same, you know. I have a special anatomy. Yeah, Because something. I've been doing yoga since I was a teenager. Mm, okay. I've been doing extreme yoga since mm -hmm. I was for 30, over 35 years. You would do that right here? I do it on the boat while I'm sailing. Just to keep yourself strong. It keeps me strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It keeps me limber. Mm -hmm. It keeps me flexible. It teaches me how to tune my body into the nature. Right. It teaches me how to channel the energy of the universe mm. into myself mm -hmm. and, it, and have more physical force. Now we're going to eat fish that I caught at sea and brought back and we dried it. And and now we're gonna eat the food we always eat at sea. I'm curious, let's see, let's see what it tastes like. Awesome, thank you Reed, that was great. Welcome, catch it, cook it, knead it. Uh, food from the thousand day sea voyage, or 1,152. Right, unbelievable, okay. thank you. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Yeah. Yeah.
see more, you see more Swiss. Yeah. You see more Swiss. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Wow, he's got more than 2,000 people. He's living in the barge. Amazing. If you have an extra way, save it for dessert. Really? <laughs> <laughs>